What's going on everybody, JCSB here, and welcome to episode 8 of season 2 of our Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, now this is Wednesday's episode, so welcome everybody, thanks for stopping by to watch the latest episode. Now I hope you all are having a great day, I, I am. Uh, I mean it's Wednesday, it's the middle of the week, I'm kind of eager for the weekend, but uh, for the first time today I actually have some free time, I have a break from homework, so I'll be able to play Minecraft for the first time this week. Alright, so uh, I just want to show you guys a couple of things. Here's all the supplies we gathered from harvesting our tree farm last uh, time. I know I showed you how many supplies I got, but I just wanted to show you that I stored it away, uh, safe and sound. As well as the iron we found in the cave uh, when we went exploring. Uh, now today, I want to do a couple of small changes to the tree farm. Uh, nothing drastic. I wanted to just do a bit more detailing to make it look nice, so I hope I brought enough logs. If not, I'll just finish the job uh, off camera. Anyways, one of the biggest suggestions I got, uh, it was originally suggested by the Mind Fiend, and then after everybody saw his comments, everybody was agreeing with him. Uh, they want, you guys want me to keep this massive tree here. Apparently no one's ever seen a tree this large. Uh, now it's not this second tree, this second tree just happened to grow into it. Uh, but this first tree, everyone said that they've never seen one this large, and that uh, kind of like as a tribute to Season 2 that we should, you know, keep it. So I am going to leave this tree. I haven't chopped down any bit of it. And uh, also, the tree next to it here, uh, I'm going to leave that up as well, because uh, the other suggestion was that I build a tree farm. Or not a tree farm. This is a tree farm. <laughs> a tree house. And the way these two combine together... Uh, it seems like it gives a lot of room for a treehouse, so uh, that's definitely a possible build later on in the series. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that idea. Do you want to see a treehouse? Uh, it wouldn't be my permanent house. It would just be a fun little project to do, and uh, then it would just kind of, you know, be there. Anyways, today what I want to do is I want to outline the spot where the trees are going to be planted. So basically, the tree goes in this middle spot here. So what I'm going to do is cut out the four corners there, the four side pieces, and then I'm just going to simply uh, put uh, planks there. That way, I know where to plant the tree every time. It gets a bit tough to find the center here. I mean, it's not terrible, but uh, it's a lot easier if you have it marked out like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just basically go through every section here and uh, do this exact same thing. Uh, so I'm going to let the clip speed up now, that way you guys don't have to watch it in regular speed, and uh, we'll pick up once I'm done with that. Alright guys, well, uh, we've got uh, almost the entire tree farm done here. As you can see now, uh, this is what it's starting to look like. Uh, I don't know, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, tell me what you guys think. I like how it creates uh, a ring of grass around the cobblestone here. Maybe I'll connect, uh, maybe I'll do something like this and connect them there. I'm, I'm still not sure yet, but uh, that's the plan. I mean, I, you get the gist of it. We have to run back and go to sleep right now. Anyways, uh, I wanted to give a little shout out. Now, I really don't do verbal shout outs like this often, especially not uh, when somebody asks for it, because uh, I know I'm not a very big channel and I really have no problem with uh, helping people out. I always will watch your videos and hit the thumbs up button and favorite them because uh, I know that it definitely takes a lot of help to get your YouTube channel started. But. Uh, I just don't like giving verbal shoutouts, but uh, the person that I'm going to mention next has not asked me for a shoutout once, 
uh, not at all. I'm doing this because I feel that his channel is very, very good, and I want uh, him to get more viewers than he has. Uh, I'll try to remember to link his channel in the description. His name is Rene uh, Renevo. I'm, I'm kind of having trouble pronouncing it. Anyways, I'll link it in the description, and uh, I definitely go check his channel out. He's got a Minecraft Let's Play, and uh, I felt kind of bad because uh, I was trying to use his texture pack that I like a lot, and uh, it seemed like they're kept... Like, at first the download link wasn't working, and I felt bad having to ask him to fix it. Uh, but he did right away, and he even came and checked out my channel, and he ended up subscribing, which was very cool because uh, I've been subscribed to him for a while now, and uh, I really enjoy his Let's Play series. So, guys, uh, definitely go check him out. His Let's Play series, uh, he's in a new area now for 1.8, and he's building this massive base and I when I'm not joking when I say massive and he's also in the process of digging out a mining quarry like I am but guys his mining quarry is 64 by 64 so uh, as you can tell uh, he's not playing around <laughs> that is a massive quarry and it is really really fun to watch him uh, go through the process of digging that entire thing out so guys, uh, please go check out his channel. Uh, it'll definitely be worth your while. Uh, and definitely subscribe to him because, like I said, his Let's Play series is uh, very, very interesting. I love watching it. So uh, go check him out. Alright, well, uh, we're just about finished here. So uh, I guess we just got to get this done real quick. Now, I wanted to talk a bit about 1.9 because I'm assuming it's coming out uh, soon-ish. I guess I'll, that's how we'll describe it because... Uh, everyone thought 1.8 was coming out, and then it kept getting postponed, so uh, soonish is what we'll go with. But uh, it definitely is around the corner. And I just wanted to talk to you about animal breeding and, you know, what I think of it. Now, uh, I find it's going to be difficult for me to start breeding animals when there's no animals around at all except for like one sheep that doesn't have its fur or it's, you know I really don't have a lot of animals on my island or around my base at all and no new ones ever spawn in like once every maybe 15 days in Minecraft and one new animal will spawn so I find that it's going to be very very difficult for me to uh, animal breed so I just wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. Uh, do you think that Notch should, uh, you know, make it so that animals spawn a bit more again like they used to before 1.8? Because uh, I liked being able to have a passive mob farm, and, uh, you know, the 1.8 update has 100% ruined that feature. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinion, see... Uh, if you think he should do something about it, or if you like uh, the direction it's headed, because I know there's some of you out there that do, uh, you know, they do like the update and are happy with what it's brought to the game. Uh, anyways, oh, one chicken, gotta kill him. <laughs> uh, we should have hit him with the shovel, huh? Anyways, uh, we got this new. This is the last thing I'm gonna do to the tree farm for a while, except for maybe fencing it in. But there you go. Uh, I think. It looks decent, and it'll make it a lot easier when replanting with uh, all of our saplings, which I do need to do. Anyways, uh, that's probably the last change we'll make to the tree farm for a while now, because uh, it's supplying us with plenty of logs and saplings, so uh, we won't be visiting here too often, to be honest. <clears throat> and I'll probably just come harvest it off-camera if I ever need, uh, you know, more logs or whatever. Anyways, let's head over to our main island now. Uh, now, somebody mentioned in the comments that they wanted to see me dig out the quarry, and uh, I got no problem with that, but here's how I think I'm going to do it, and I want to know what you guys think if you like my idea. What I was thinking was, uh, I'll sit down one night when I have free time, uh, maybe this weekend, and I'll dig the entire thing in one sitting, and I'll record it, and what I'll do is I will speed it up, make it a time lapse, and then I will... Uh, play some of my uncle's music behind it and then I would just upload an extra video uh, one more video than normal it would be like a special video and it would just be the time lapse of me digging out the uh, the quarry here so let me know what you guys think about that idea I definitely think it's 
a pretty good one, I think. Uh, it'll be pretty interesting. Kind of give us a break from just the standard Let's Play episode. So uh, let me know if you guys like that idea because, you know, I definitely think it is a good one and I'd be excited, you know, to get that done. Anyways, I'm just putting some stuff here away. Uh, get this cooking. We got more chicken. Always got chicken cooking. <laughs> Alright, put that in there. Up here. Alright, so uh, what I want to do today is... Uh, Hmm, I'm trying to decide here. Uh, I had a couple things planned in my mind. Uh, I kind of want to get started on making our wheat farm a bit better. Uh, that's what I was kind of planning on doing today. The only problem is I don't have a lot of glass, and I'm going to need a ton of it. Uh, so what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go collect some sand, because uh, I'll need probably a, at least a stack of it. Uh... Uh, let me go see how much sand I have. I may have enough from clearing out this island, actually, and then I would just have to cook it up. Uh, let me let me see here. Oh, cool. So I actually do have enough sand. All right. Well, uh, then we'll just get a stack cooking here. Luckily, we have enough furnaces so that uh, it's not going to take too long. We won't have to wait that long. Just go like this. And then what we're going to do is get that out of here. We're going to go like this split this up into eight that way it uh, cooks really really quickly gonna put one piece in there one piece in here and then you know just repeat the process get all these cooked and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the mine fiends wheat farm now uh, I know I've definitely used this design more than once off camera I'm not sure if I've ever done it on camera but uh, it is definitely the best wheat farm design that I have ever seen. Uh, very good design. Uh, so, you know, that's why we're using it. It's not that I'm copying him or anything like that because uh, somebody mentioned in the comments a couple of videos ago that they didn't think I was being original enough, like I was using too many viewer suggestions or that I was using too many designs that were, uh, you know, already been used. I use, I do viewer suggestions because uh, I like to get you guys involved in my world and I use designs like the Mines Fiend not because I'm trying to copy uh, his design I'm not taking credit for him his design is simply smart it's a genius design so it would be ignorant not to use it in your world so uh, I hope that clears things up I'm not trying to copy the Mind Fiend or anything like that I'm just simply trying to you know do things the best possible way so like I said hope that clears things up and you know uh, that's that. So what we're going to do is grab our seeds. Now one thing the Mind Fiend does that I find uh, pretty good is that he makes his wheat farms so that they grow exactly 64 pieces uh, of wheat. That way, you know, when he harvests, he gets a full stack of everything. So uh, that's why I grabbed 64 seeds. We're also going to grab a stack of dirt. And we're going to go set up the land over here. That way, once our glass is done cooking, we can... Uh, uh, instantly start setting up our little farm here. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to take down uh, this wheat farm over here. Uh, it did its job for a while, but now we're moving on to bigger and better things. So uh, we're gonna have to remove this. So I'm gonna speed this up again, and I am just going to, uh, you know, remove this real quick. Alright, well, uh, we got the fences moved. Now what we need to do is just basically remove all the crops. Uh, even though they're not fully grown in, we need to get them out of the way. So, you know, uh, unfortunately they're just going to have to grow. Or go. <laughs> some of them were uh, fully grown. So uh, at least we got some wheat out of it. Six pieces. Alright, so uh, we're going to run off and go to bed here. But we also need to level this island so uh, it's all flat. We're going to have to take that next layer down. Uh, it seems like I have a lot of sped up parts in this episode, but, you know, I'm trying to do more and more work on camera because, uh, I don't know, I feel like it gets you guys to see everything that happens, so uh, I'm starting to like that way of doing Let's Plays a bit better. 
Tell me what you guys think. Do you want me to do work like this off camera? I mean, obviously, I couldn't do this job off camera because, uh, you know, I started it on camera and I'm going to try to finish it all today as well. It depends on how much time we have. I don't want to go too much over 30 minutes because uh, then a lot of you probably won't stick around for the entire time because uh, I get it. Not all of us. I mean, there's a lot of times where I don't have uh, 40 minutes for one video, especially when uh, all the people I'm subscribed to upload a new video. I don't want to spend, you know, 40 minutes on just one person's video. So I get that, uh, which is why I feel that 30 minutes is a pretty good uh, limit to stop at. Anyways, let me level this down for a sec, and uh, I'll be right back. Well, guys, uh, we ran out of a shovel, unfortunately. I was afraid that was going to happen. Uh, we almost got it all dug out here, but, uh, you know, uh, I'd rather run back and grab a shovel rather than uh, dig that whole rest of the part out without, uh, you know, with just my hand. That wouldn't really work too well. So uh, let's get some cobblestone. And while we're over here, we might as well pick up the glass as well uh, and put some dirt away. We got tons of dirt now. It's kind of crazy picking up so much of it. Uh, where's cobblestone? There we go. Some cobble. Let's go grab our glass, which should be done. Yep. So, uh, now we got at least a full stack of glass to work with. I don't think we'll need quite that much, but, uh, we'll probably need somewhere around 50 pieces, if I had to guess. Alright, so, uh, at least now we have plenty to work with. Uh, we also might as well eat some food while we're here, because, uh running kind of low there there we go and now let's go make those shovels all right perfect three new shovels that don't go in the right spot when you shift click <laughs> all right so uh let me go dig this out and uh i'll be right back Alright guys, uh, well we got the whole area here cleared out. Now, uh, I'll leave that tree there, but uh, this one looks like it's going to get in the way. So we're going to have to unfortunately chop down yet another natural tree. I'm definitely going to go back and plant a whole bunch of trees on this island. That way uh, I can keep that kind of natural look. Uh, but when the tree's getting in the way, it's unfortunately got to go. <laughs> Just the way things work. But uh, now what we're going to do is set this up so that... I'm going to try to get it so that I can have even rows, and then it'll still be, I still only have 64. Uh, so let's see what we have to do here. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to go like this. I'm just going to pick a random number here and see how this works. The concept is, is that you have to have long pillars like this where you leave, uh, well that was actually perfect. That ended up using 32 blocks. That was perfect. That's half of 64. Uh, so now we just make one more row like this, uh, and it should end up being a perfect stack of 64. All right, cool. So I guess we guessed correctly. I wasn't even paying attention to the numbering when I was placing them down, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, what you do is you make uh, long columns like this, and then the water goes in the middle here. Uh, I'll show you guys. You're going to see it in a second, so uh, no point for me to rush telling you how it works. All right, so we're going to put a get a little infinite spring over here closer to us. So basically what you do is you fill these center columns with water, as I said. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, 
when you have an infinite source here you can skip a block and then place one and it still creates infinite sources that way you don't have to place one every single block I think you actually might be able to place them out too yeah you can so uh, two away from where the stream starts that way you know it just makes your job a bit quicker uh, you know less work uh, always makes things a bit better so let's get this done real quick one more bucket that's all we should need alright so uh, I'll speed through this and get the other one set up as well because that's gonna take a bit of time alright guys so now we've got the water in place now the next step is pretty obvious all you do is you uh, till all the pieces of dirt here all the dirt blocks that way that can happen right there the water can or the soil can saturate now the other day somebody asked me why it's important to saturate the soil well basically uh, if I'm not mistaken it allows the crops to grow a bit quicker because it is saturated and also if I were to stand here let me show you if I were to stand uh, on this piece of dirt here on these unsaturated soil as you can see it changes back into standard dirt once uh, dirt is saturated it doesn't change back the only way to change back is to physically dig it up so uh, it ensures that your crops can't get destroyed by uh, or your soil itself can't get destroyed by animals or things of that nature so uh, it's definitely a good idea to obviously have water nearby and let the soil saturate so uh, after that we need to place glass along uh, the top of the water here now can we do that yeah all right now what this does is it prevents the crops from falling into the water when you harvest them now uh, if I were to come up here and knock off a whole bunch of wheat it would fall some of it would fall into the water and I'd have to jump up here and get it by having the glass here it's impossible for the wheat to fall in so uh, it just makes your job a bit easier and you're harvesting more efficient so definitely a good idea to do that as well now I'm not gonna go run over there and go to sleep for the nighttime my island's safe I'm just going to uh, you know put my uh, what you would call the brightness on extremely bright so uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see well enough you should have no problem seeing it uh, to be honest alright so let's get the glass laid up on top of here as well alright so now we've got that part done now uh, there's only two steps left we have to plant the crops and we have to uh, create a platform for torches uh, now uh, this is still part of the mine fiends design I just want to make uh, make that clear what you do is you run a line of any solid block up here any block basically that you can place a torch on uh, the mine fiend uses wooden planks and uh, I think it looks really nice when you use wooden planks it kind of I don't know I guess you would say it looks good with the other colors that are being used in the wheat farm such as uh, the color of wheat and the seeds and things like that so then what you do is you just uh, place your torches up here I try to space it uh, yeah I do three apart three apart always works uh, or it seems when I do a farm like this so I just place them three apart here I think how the mine feed sets it up is you put torches on every single block but uh, I'm not going to put that many because I don't have an extreme supply of coal and I don't want to waste, uh, you know, not waste, but I'm not going to use them. I think I'll be able to get by by, be able to get by only using this many torches. That goes there. Uh, so now basically we have everything set up except for the seeds itself. And uh, all we're going to do is come here and hold down the right click button and we're just gonna you know plant all these seeds here now you can wait for every little block to get saturated but most of mine are here so uh, you know if there's a couple that aren't saturated they will eventually you know saturate and uh, everything will be good so let's get this planted here come on plant faster come on I can't reach that block alrighty and voila so uh, this is kind of like our permanent crop farm uh, but I might put a fence around it because of farm animals but for now 
I'm not getting really any animal spawns as it is, so I think uh, I might be safe from animals. Now, uh, tell me what you guys think of this design. If you like it and you've never heard of the Mind Fiend, uh, I don't know how you couldn't have because uh, if you watch my videos, I mention him a lot. Uh, go check out his channel. Uh, tell him that this design is nice because I love this design. Now, if you wanted to grow more wheat, uh, you could make these columns longer or you could have more columns next to each other. Just keep going. Now, uh, maybe later on I'll make more columns, but for now... Uh, this will definitely supply plenty of wheat. Alright guys, well, uh, I hope you have enjoyed Episode 7 of our Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, season 2, of course. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, guys, definitely go check out Renevo's channel. Renevo, yeah, I think I'm saying that right. And the Mind Fiends channel. Uh, they're definitely worth going and checking out. Other than that, guys, uh, feel free to leave comments giving me any feedback or suggestions. And uh, if you haven't already and you want to be updated uh, when new episodes are out, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.